All right, so the breaking and entering, the taking my things has now continued. I usually have, a, I usually have these small bottles of um, these um, alcohol bo spray bottles that I put alcohol in, right? Um, you know, the 99% isoprophic alcohol, right? They, they stole every one of them. The last one I had was a bigger bottle I put on my computer desk. It's gone. Calling my sister, I said, hey, look, my alcohol bottle is gone. See, again, right? Every time it happens, I keep telling her, she keep trying to gaslight me. Oh, I don't see, you know, I came in your room, there was nobody here, and this and that, all that sort of stuff, right? So then she says, so then she goes, oh, look at the alcohol bottle right there. Now she know that this is not, okay? She knows this, all right? But what she does, again, is part of the act that they do, right? So she grabs the bottle, she goes, look at it right here. I said, I said to her, I said, Sharon, does it like alcohol bottle to you? Hmm? Right? And the fact that it was faced this way. So the fact that she reached under my monitor, even though she can see clearly, it, has, it says glasses cleaner. But what she does is that when she puts it back down, she turns it over and... To show me the barcode and then gets up and start to do the palm fixation drill okay this is what she starts to do the palm fixation drill when she does this so i talk about how to use the barcode right to to, to, to let you know that you're microchip right to let you know that you're microchip and again this is what they do this is how they engage in this sort of behavior these are religious fanatics it could be including your family members, all right? Because as black people, we're miseducated, we're ignorant to this curses, cursed book called the Bible. And if you do, do any sort of critical research, you'll understand this Bible was created for the sole purpose of controlling people, and particularly black people, and to use an excuse to enslave black people. These books, whether it be the Quran, whether it be the Bible, that we have latched onto these books, okay, that is clearly not meant for us, which is, has been used to demonize us, enslave us, while we ignore our comedic spirituality. This is the mindset. This is what's going on. They will set you up, just like Paul, the Roman, the infiltrator, right? In order to bring you to their imaginary God and to a so-called savior that never existed. This is the mindset. This is why I say we as black people, we are a dead people. We are spiritually dead, we are mentally dead. We have no comprehension or understanding of what spirituality really is. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.